What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the uh, White Corner and uh, I'm here again with my uh, 07 V-Rod Nyrod Special. In this video, I'm not going to show you guys detailed how I install it, how I take it up and put it back in. But I'm just going to give you all some tip and um, a little review about this product since I have a little bit of trouble while I do installations. I own a couple of V-Rod and do some custom on it. but. This is my first time trying to install the port cover. So I purchased this port cover here on AliExpress for a little over $100. And this is my first time trying doing it. So the order is going to come in six pieces. So this is the upper cover. This is the lower cover. As you can see it's right here. I already got one side in. The top cover for the port. And all three of them come with the set screw right here for you to tighten it. So first off, um, this cover looks pretty cool. Uh, come with gloss black, already paint. Um, look pretty nice. It's gonna give your front end of the bike look a little more aggressive, look better. That's why I give it a try. And this is aluminum, pretty good, um, durable. Unfortunately, there are some chips around the top here and also on the uh, upper uh, cover um, but that's nothing you can do because it's all the way from China so I don't I'm not gonna waste my time to send it back see right here but this is it's not a big deal for me the second thing is that uh, the fitment fitment will be I, I dealing with some uh, couple of issues so the top cover it doesn't fit with the top nut it's gonna go right here but unfortunately it's not gonna fit because I already measure and the top the inside diameter here is about 38 millimeter but the actual diameter of the nut here is 40 millimeter so I have to um, probably take off a lot grinding off the inside here a lot about 2 millimeter so which is grind it up one millimeter all around and then maybe I can put it back in but um, I will figure out what to do with that. I saw a couple of v rod out there with the earlier model like mine already installed. Maybe you guys already figured out or you order from a different seller and uh, it's fit fine no issue but that's what I'm dealing with right now. The second thing is the uh, lower port. The lower port here the inside diameter it's actually really tight when I insert it into the port. It's very tight. So I had to grind it off a little all around here, about this much. So you gotta grind it up all around here. Use some uh, pencil grinder or some grinding tool. Um, that's only happened with the lower port cover, not top. Uh, the top slide in really easy and smooth. I personally using this tool right here. I purchased as Harbor Prey. Um, worked well for me for with a lot of project. What I did is I'm gonna take off the material inside here. Not a lot, and test it again to see if it's going smooth. Then you're good to go. Um, Cause you're gonna have enough clearance to um, slide it in easy in and out. And you just tighten this set screw to tighten it up. So after I grind it up a little bit, it's sliding pretty smooth. Another thing that I want to point out is that the lower fork is kind of long. It's longer than I expect. It doesn't need to be that long. Because as you can see here, this can go up to like here. It's good enough. If you are running the same uh, body kit, which is this front fender here. What it does is the side here, the edge, right here. And when the fork compress and going down, that cover, the edge, gonna hit the side of the front fender. As you can see, see that? It doesn't have a lot of room for you to turn around because it either hit the side of your front fender or it's gonna hit the fork right here. What I'm gonna do, um, you have a different option. You probably can uh, use a different front fender. Maybe just cut it off a little bit, make it a little shorter, so it's not gonna touch anymore, and it's gonna give you enough clearance. In my case, I'm probably gonna use the grinder 
and uh, take off a little bit on the side here. 